With all the stress that just seems to be amping up day by day, I thought I would do a video about my favorite go-to life hacks for calming anxiety. So stay tuned to the end of the video. My fifth life hack tool is very easy to use, can be done anywhere, and works fast. Hi, I'm Marcia Chase. Welcome to my channel. I just finished a spirit animal meaning video about armadillo and the importance of boundaries. And in that video toward the end, I'm talking uh, about calling your energy back to yourself. So in this video, I'm going to explore that idea uh, a little bit more ways that you can call your energy back home to yourself and calm anxiety, stress, get yourself out of a uh, state of fear. And, and once you begin to be able to do that in situations, then it becomes a skill you can fall back on. So hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified of my next video and let's get started. The first tool is sort of an obvious place to start when you realize that you have gone into anxiety, uh, stress, frustration, and that is to just get outside. It's just the simplest, um, you know, don't make a massive chore out of it. It doesn't have to be uh, a workout. Just get outside. The outside has a healing effect. Nature is um, calming. So that's tool number one. Go outside. The next tool that I use probably the most frequently for me is journaling. And if I'm working through something that is causing me stress or anxiety, I use a technique where I uh, write it, dump it all out on the page, and then I go back and write over the same line that I've just written on. And then I'll go back and do that again. I'll just keep dumping it out on the page. Um, not only is no one ever going to read this, it's not going to be readable to even you. And so this allows perspective on the thoughts that are streaming through your mind. Often, uh, they may not even be things that we truly believe, yet these are the thoughts that are just literally running our lives. It's this, who is the thinker of the thoughts? And you can't really gain perspective on any of that until, for me at least, until I dump it all out on the page. So journaling, for sure, my number two tool. The number three tool is a new, a new tool that I've started using recently. It's called Neurographica. And um, I'll have a video playing of, of uh, kind of a demo of, of that type of art. You just begin by drawing lines on the page and you're kind of holding in your mind the thing um, that's causing you anxiety or stress and just flows into this. You round the corners of all of the lines, of the connecting lines, and it's it's kind of it's really a fascinating thing. I think it's working on um, your brain somehow. I'll put a, a link to to that website in uh, the show notes below too. You can find a bunch of stuff on YouTube about this neurographica. This is a new uh, thing that's quickly becoming a go-to tool for me. It's really just gets me out of my, um, you know, hamster wheel mind and shifts, shifts my energy and, and it does act pretty quickly. Number four is soaking in hot water. Any kind of soaking for me is, I just know when I need to soak, I know, I just know what that feeling 
feels like for me and be a hot bath with Epsom salts. Um, I even bought a foot bath that I can put Epsom salt in and uh, geez, that, that actually helps too when, when there's no time to do a, a longer soak. Um, I happen to live in Colorado, so there's a hot springs. There are several hot springs nearby, so um, I try to now put that more into my routine um, instead of letting myself get to the desperate point of knowing that I need to go soak. So soaking is for sure, for me, definitely a go-to tool for anxiety and stress. Number five tool is Wim Hof breathing. I cannot say enough good things about this. My husband and I both have adopted this as a tool. It is fantastic. You want to get yourself out of feeling stress, anxiety. It's great for inflammation. Um, the ones I'm doing now maybe takes about 20 minutes, but in the beginning you start with a shorter one. You can go on YouTube and find the videos. And the, this to me is um, just, yeah, he's a really interesting guy and very, this is very effective. I cannot, literally cannot say enough good things about the Wim Hof breathing. It's, it works uh, right away to calm, calm the mind and calm the body. So these tools that um, I've shared in this video are in no particular order. I use them just interchangeably. I, I you know, as I, you know, <laughs> as the day or week is going, whatever may be needed. So um, I'd love to hear about your favorite uh, life hack tools for reducing stress and anxiety, please comment in the show notes below. Thanks for watching.